Good morning. It's 3.50 currently and it's shit as early. I'm so tired. But I'm gonna go down and meet my Uber and uh, go to Shalil. Go to Copenhagen. Woo! just arrived at the hotel we are staying and got ready for a day here in Copenhagen and it's actually such nice weather today and I miss the city so much when I am here now so I am gonna walk into the city take advantage of the Sun because I haven't seen it in a while and um, I'm gonna meet up with Celia and we're gonna grab a coffee and then head to Joe and the juice because you know you gotta go there when you're here Although we have it in Paris and I'm there all the time. It's just, we just love Joe, don't we? Come along. Okay, I'm in the city and one of these musicians on the street is playing my favorite song. So that could be one more thing about me then. My favorite song is Despacito, preferably the remix with Justin Bieber. I hope I won't get copyright for this, but. Uh, in that case, Hannah will have to remove the sound and then she'll put on some sort of text here. I've met up with Celia, my best friend. <laughs> Back with Bay. It's been ages. We lived together when I lived here in Copenhagen, but and now we haven't seen each other since December, December. isn't it? Yeah, December. And that's crazy. It's insane. So we have a lot to catch up on, but I'm gonna take you guys along on what we're doing today and then I'm gonna show you what I bought today because I love shopping here in Denmark. It feels like all the things you buy here are similar to what we have in Sweden, which I like. It feels like home and it feels familiar. Talk to you later. <laughs> It's Denmark's pride and uh, yeah, we always end up here. It doesn't matter where I am, I'm always here. And I have my regular order, my green tonic with extra lemon and spicy chicken. Just my favorite, So that's the second fact about me in this video, or I don't remember the first. I always order that here. Always, always. <laughs> Um, I just checked in to the hotel and Celia is hanging out with her cousin right now um, but we're gonna meet up soon and grab dinner. But we've had a busy day and I'm so tired. I'm running on two hours of sleep. But I've been doing so many fun Copenhagen things today because I've been living here before and so I have a lot of like, you know, favorite spots and so on. But today I've been shopping a little bit and I thought I would do a little haul. It's not like it's anything extensive, but it's some of my ride or dies and my favorites that I really can't get a hold of in Paris. So let's do a little haul. At first I bought these um, eye patches. Love them. A USB drive and that's for my exam tomorrow because I need, it's an open book exam. So I'll plug it in. I got my favorite ever. Uh, protein bars. It's from the protein kitchen. They look like this. And I got the flavor coconut, hazelnut, peanut. So delicious. My holy grail. Ah, Swedish pick and mix candy. This is my candy flavor in a nutshell. I don't know if you can see this. But it's mostly sour ones. So this is for dark times. <laughs> jokes. Then I got this one and it's supposed to be also a holy grail according to exactly everyone on TikTok. It works as a primer uh, for the hairs. Socks from Arkit. I bought eyebrow color. I bought tons of these candies. They're a little bit healthier and I have such a sweet tooth so you know I like mixing it up both regular candy and things like this. So now we're gonna eat and we're gonna talk about something fun. I'm just gonna um, fix this. My age, my ancient uh, USB drive for tomorrow for the exam. It's an open book exam, so we have to bring our own notes. 
So, that we're gonna do first, and then we're gonna eat, and we're gonna talk about something fun. Bonjour! Let's do a mukbang! Bonjour. It's not gonna be a super long one, but we have got food here, and it's the night before our exam, and yeah, we are ready to kill it. Right, Celia? Yes. Yes. So, here we have our food, and I have a salad with feta cheese, chicken, sweet potato, and blah blah blah. And what do you have, Celia? Um, chicken, parmesan, sweet potato. Great. Looks great. And here we have a fork. Glam life! Woo! -hoo. Um, to be honest, we were both really feeling like having salads tonight. Yes. It felt like such a good decision, you know? We want to be on top of our exam tomorrow. And we thought we, we would do a little fun game here. We're gonna play this or that with you guys. Woo! So, <laughs> woo! Yeah, start with the first question. Glass half full or glass half empty? I want to say half full, because I want to be that kind of person, yeah. but I am <laughs> half empty. Like, when something happens, it is a disaster when it comes to me. Mm. <laughs> she knows that. <laughs> We've been living together, so she knows me by heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I feel like you're the opposite. Yeah, I'm you, the opposite. Yeah, you definitely, definitely. see the good part yeah. <laughs> about everything. You're like, you're such a positive person. Mm. But that was also why we were like, so we complimented each other very good well. Good match. Yeah, good match. And I mean like, I, I'm very extreme in all my emotions. Like when mm -hmm. I'm happy, I'm very happy. And when I'm excited, I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. And when I'm sad, I'm extremely sad. Mm -hmm. And when I'm mad, I'm furious. It's like, yeah. Mm. That's me. Winning the lottery or finding your soulmate? <laughs> Winning the lottery. <laughs> Is that even fair? Yeah, I can, can I, see can this I, coming. Actually. Yeah. Is that even something that you're allowed to say in this society today? I feel like it's not. Oh, this is one. I just came up with this one. Uh, dre dressing mixed into your salad or on the side? Mixed. Side. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> this is a herb dressing that I've had before and I like it a lot. It was very good, actually. Mm. I don't know how people look good when they eat. Yeah, I can't. No. Oh, me neither. I just stuff my face. Yeah, same. Cooking or being cooked for? Ooh. I think I have to say cooking because yeah. I would probably not be patient enough to just sit still and wait. Mm -hmm. But I love going out to restaurants and that is kind of being cooked for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when I'm home or I'm, when I'm at someone's place, I'm always the one like, can I help and do something? Yeah. Just because I feel like Mm, partly because I don't want to be tro a troubling person mm. and also because I enjoy doing things together although I'm honestly not like you can't trust me honestly with a saucepan because I'll probably burn it but you're very good at cooking though thank you when I very make good. it work I'm good but mm. you have your I, specialties I have my specialties mm -hmm. but when I go outside of those shit can happen mm -hmm. and I can honestly not tell you how many times the food that I've cooked ha has become black, <laughs> which is not fun. Hmm. Mm. Oh, this one is difficult for you. Wine or beer? Wine. You say that. Yeah. I thought you would say beer. Sometimes beer, but yeah. wine goes always. True. It's always good. Yeah. Uh, what would you choose? Red, white, rosé, bubbles. Mm. Probably white. Mm-hmm. It's the most versatile, I think. Mm. Mm. But if you get a bad white, you get a really bad white. Yeah, that's true. Because I feel like most red wines are good. Yeah, that's true. That was mm. what, what, what I was just about to say as well. Exactly, because it's like, well, it's a safe card when you go in a restaurant to get a red mm. wine because it's always going to be good. But mm, you're not always in the mood to have a red wine because it's kind of something that makes you feel tired. a little sluggish and yeah. tired. and. Yeah. Also, I would never drink red wine in the middle of the day. No, me neither. It's for it's, dinner. I know that you're gonna say wine. So no, I'm don't even ask. ask. Jeez. <laughs> I, I don't drink beer. Would you say red or white wine? I would say white because it's more mm -hmm. versatile. Yeah. If I could only drink one for the rest of my life, it would be white. Mm. But I enjoy the flavor more of the red, which is a little, a little 
annoying. Yeah. But I do love bubbles, but I only mm. love one glass of bubbles. Yeah. I hate rosé. Yeah. FYI, I hate. <laughs> Night or morning? Morning. Yeah. For sure. Same. How about you? Yeah. Same. Mm, oh, rich and famous or rich and unknown? Rich and, rich and unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Says it all. <laughs> Train or airplane? Oh shit, that's difficult. That's difficult. <sighs> because it depends. With airplane, it's nice to get somewhere quickly. Mm -hmm. But I hate to sit in airplanes. I don't like airports. No, and I also don't like all the things that goes around flying. Because exactly, when you are flying, you kind of have to both. Uh, drop your luggage. You have to go mm -hmm. through security. You have to wait for a million years. You have to take a cab there. Yeah, it blah, blah, actually blah. takes a lot of time. Yeah, the mm. whole process. Yeah. Mm. So it's usually easier by train, mm. and it's also nice being able to like work at the same time because mm -hmm. usually there's Wi-Fi on the train. Yeah, sure. But if there's if you're going on a flight that's like one hour, then it's fine. Yeah. But it's, if it's longer, then after the train. Yeah. Mm. And also, you can pack everything with you on the train, basically. Mm. And uh, you can like eat on the train, and yeah, mm. train. But I would never take the train to. I don't even think it's possible to like Thailand because that would take years. True. Photo. Salad, salad or sandwich. We've had both today. It's true. Um, but I have to say salad. Social media message for text message. Social media message. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I keep if most of my conversations mm. on my social media. Mm. Mm. Unless they're like really important. Mm. I only have like you, mom, and dad <laughs> on my text messages. Start assignment immediately or wait until last minute? Start immediately. But both. that's something I have learned from you. Because you're really? so efficient. Yes. Yeah. And I start the second we get it. Yeah. Usually. Exactly. I hate having things hanging over me, if mm. that makes sense. I really don't like feeling like there's something I have to do mm. that I'm not on top of. But that's also weird because I never check my school email. Yeah. I never check <laughs> updates on our platform. Mm. I'm like, this unless I sometimes I get like a fling of panic and then I check everything and then I feel soothed or calm for a few weeks and then I yeah. go in and panic. Yeah, so I but I also say what's oh, happening yeah. there. So <laughs> she's my savior. Yeah. We know each other so well, so I'm the only one. I can only do group work with Celia. Yeah. That's the only person that I can work with. Money or love? <laughs> love. Mm. I don't think I've ever been in love. So it's hard for me to say. So right now I would say money, but mm -hmm. if love is as special as everyone says, then of course love. Words or actions? Oh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I would I say trust, actions. Yeah, I trust people very much. Yeah, when that's they say true. Things. Mm. Like I take them by their words, mm. Mm. because I never say something that I don't mean. Mm. But I don't think I believe it, or I do believe it. I don't know. I feel like both things matter. But one thing that I have learned recently is that even though people say things mm -hmm. and I trust them, if their actions don't live up to it, I kind of lose faith in them and it's hard for me to gain it back yeah so many people are full of shit i'm telling you that coffee date or cocktail date cocktail date mm -hmm. honestly prefer cocktail dates um, yeah. over anything yeah and i also like meeting up with friends and stuff mm -hmm. also, uh, over wine or cocktails because yeah. during the evening i feel like i can relax more because then you're done with schoolwork and everything you have to and do stuff. Yeah. yeah talking or listening Talk. <laughs> I love to listen. I love to listen when my friends talk about things because I feel like I learn so much. But mm -hmm. mm, I don't like when it is always someone talking and the other one's always listening. Or yeah. when I want to say something and I can't. If I were to choose, I, I like to talk. 
Mm. How about you? Depends. Mm. I think I like to listen as well. Mm. But um, I also like to talk. <laughs> oh, eggs or pancakes? Eggs. <laughs> I love pancakes as well, though. But you do? Yeah. What What is your go-to pancake? Like, is it an American pancake? I love banana pancake? pancakes. Mm. Those are good. Mm. Looks or personality? Personality. Yeah, I want to say the same, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We will, I mean, stay tuned for more on my love <laughs> life, honestly. Maybe I should do like a video montage of guys that are my types. I can ask True, Hannah, my editor, I can send you pictures of guys that are my type, like looks wise, and she can pop them in here. That will be fun. That will be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's also fun. Can you tell me two of your celebrity crushes? Two, guys. Okay, I need to think a little. Mm. There's a Swedish guy in the band, Swedish band called Hovet, that is called Noel Flike, mm. and I love, <laughs> I'm in love with him. I want to marry him. So this is to you, Noel. Shout out to you. I love you. Who else? Justin Bieber, of course. Mm. How could I forget? And then also when I was younger, Cody Simpson. Yeah, I was also a Cody fan when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Because she's, uh, she's he's um, blonde and tall and cute stuff. Cute. Yeah. Mm, I feel like in that sense we kind of like the same kind of vibe. Mm. Cute guys more. Mm. Split the bill or take turns paying. Take turns. Same. I feel like it's easier and it, it, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I just like it more. I feel like things like that even out. Yeah. Calling or texting? Depends on what I want to say. Yeah. If it's um, urgent, then you need to call. Yeah. And if it's also like, I'm going to meet up with you in five minutes and I want to mm -hmm. know where, then I call. Because I really don't like to text when I walk and stuff. No. But if it is... If someone calls me and I'm busy and I'm afraid that I will be stuck in a phone call for an hour, then I'm not gonna answer. Oh, smartest person in the world or richest person person in the world? Wow. Richest. But I think I would say smartest because then I would figure out a way to be the richest. That's actually smart. Because I wouldn't want to be super dumb and rich because then someone would probably blow me off my money. Mm. Logic or emotion? Mm, I think I'm usually logic, mm, but are. when I let my logic side mm. go with what I want mostly, mm. but when, since I feel so much whenever I feel something, I when I have this like huge emotion thing going on, then sometimes my logic can't breathe. Like when mm. I'm so sad, it can't. Mm. But it. I'm also quite kind of quick to recover on that. I mean, like when I'm sad, I'm sad for maximum 15 minutes and then I'm fine. And yeah. when I'm mad, I'm, sad. I'm mad for like True. 10 yeah. minutes and then I'm super happy again. Yeah. If you're fighting with me, you're probably gonna fight for a couple of hours tops and then <laughs> done. I'm never gonna go to bed, be mad at someone. No. I hate that. How about you? You could be emotion though. Yeah, maybe, maybe like 60 40. Because you are very logic, but. Mm. You're also you would never do something if you didn't feel no like that's doing it. that's true no yeah whereas I could be like I should do push this through, and do yeah, it and yeah. push through true book smart or street smart street smart I feel like I am more book smart than street smart though because I'm I can be dumb in some situations you are super smart I'm smart and you know that but I can be like a little bit oh. Uh-huh, I didn't think of that. Ask me something school-related school related, and I usually know it. Introvert or ex extrovert? Extrovert. Yeah, same. I charge when I am with people. Yeah. I feel like I'm not super good with being alone. That too mm. often or too much. How was your food? Very good. The sauce is actually super nice. It really is. Yeah. I mean, this is my... I feel like I need to be able to remake this somehow at mm. home. Pizza or Chinese? That's, pizza. Yeah. Always. Oh, always. Hmm. Pizza or hamburger? Pizza. Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Burger. 
plans or surprises. I know oh, what you're plans. Gonna answer, yeah. Oh, I hate surprises. <laughs> don't ever surprise me. Don't. Just don't. How about you? Mm, plans. Yeah. Uh, I mean, imagine a surprise and you come up, you show up and you, you're you not dressed for the right occasion. Mm. I hate that. Lose sleep or skip a meal? Skip a meal. Lose sleep. <laughs> okay, no, one more. Passenger or driver? Driver. You? Depends on who drives the car. If I drive. <laughs> I can be a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great driver. Yeah. Geez. I'm a little bit nuts though, but mm -hmm. I'm a good driver. When I was younger, when I took my driver's license, my family had a smaller car and I named her Doris. So we drove around in Doris. Yeah. She was amazing. <sighs> okay guys, thank you so much. This is going to be a really long one. But stay tuned for more on our Copenhagen trip. Tomorrow we're going to our favorite restaurant. Talk to you after the exam. We are at Esme and we're about to order some wine to celebrate that we're done with the exam. Right, Celia? <laughs> we're waiting for Hannah as well. She's one of those girls. She stays until the exam ends. She's like, she's not leaving one second before. She takes advantage of all the time. I'm one of those. I left after two hours today. That's me. And we have four hours of time. So I left earliest, basically. For my two beautiful, lovely girls that I miss so much, and Hannah, the little weirdo. She's drinking red wine for lunch. How do you do that? She's it's been insane for like four months, and I guess that's why that kind of made you <laughs> Spanish. Exactly. Cheers, girls. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Mm. And we are done with our public public regulations exam, and we're so proud of ourselves. Woo. That was the last in-house exam in my life, I guess. <laughs> wow. I have a tartar here, and Hannah has the same tartar, but she has bread on the side. I got these little motherfuckers, and then Celia has a risotto. Yummy! Okay, here we have Hannah, and she's in her best mood. We just had Woo! wine, and then we had an amazing soft serve and an amazing vanilla ice cream. So, if you go to Esme, eat the ice creams. I'm telling you. But now we're gonna continue on a little fun thing here. I'm obsessed with bags. I my mind is completely always on bags. That is what keeps me going. When like financially, when I'm gonna make money or when I feel like I need a drive towards making money, I think about all the bags that I wanna buy because I'm obsessed with bags. One random thing, it will it will differ from you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that I'm obsessed and I need Every day I need to do meditation. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Darlings, bye bye from Esme. I'm gonna talk to Hannah now about meditation because I need to get into that rut. <laughs> yeah, you need. I do. <laughs> and then she needs to buy some cigarettes. Yes. Uh, so we're gonna go and get that. And then I'm gonna go to the airport. It was 36 Aww. amazing hours here in Copenhagen. But yeah, hopefully back soon. Love you. So, currently at the airport, and it's a little bit unclear if my flight is delayed or not. But I just had my special green tonic with extra lemon at Jonga Juice, and now I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna order toast and bring my flight. Talk later. Hi my loves, it's a little later and it's also I'm also back in Paris in my teeny apartment and yeah I've not been feeling 100% on lately so I don't know it's just things are difficult and I just wanted to share that everything's not perfect and like I've been crying all day and the reason too why I'm not crying now is because I feel like there are no tears left to cry to say the least. But I'm trying to fix situations and I'm hoping to resolve them by tomorrow so that I know something about how the upcoming days will be. But um, I just wanted to end the vlog here and 
I wanted to let you know that even though things may look perfect and seem like I'm living such a dream life, it's not. I am also struggling like everyone else. And that's all. And I love you guys. I love you so, so, so much. Thanks for making it possible for me to work with what I love. Talk soon. See you next vlog. And remember to subscribe and like and comment and everything. Makes me super happy. Oh, 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 oh,